So now we're going to make a scree garden uh, in this little area here. It's not quite a rock garden. You'll see natural scree gardens uh, where things are growing. Um, and they're caused by different sizes of stone sort of graduating down. So I've got a variety of stones I'm going to put in. First thing you need uh, is to make sure you've got good edging. Got these curbs on this side and the patio on this side. Because uh, this is a bit of a walk through, uh, and this is going to be stones, uh, it, it'll be fine to walk on, so uh, sort of best of both worlds. Fairly important to get it level to start with, so uh, most of this is done. I'm just going to level it out a bit, get any weeds that are showing. Yeah, should be fine. Well, what you do need is some kind of weed control fabric. Uh, this is a like a, a spun fabric. You can get this online or from your local garden uh, shop. Uh, so this acts as a barrier between your stones and the soil. Um, stops them all getting mixed up over time. Uh, and also sort of prevents weeds coming up through. Um, so there's, there's sort of two methods we're going to do. One is with existing planting and then we'll plant a few things uh, through as well. I'm going to roll this out roughly in part of the area. Have to watch because it's a windy day. It gets everywhere. A decent knife or some scissors um, to cut it to, to fit the area. Now where this, this big plant is here already, uh, we need to cut to roughly where the middle of the plant is and then we're going to tuck the material around it. I reckon that's about it. So I'm going to tuck that underneath the whole thing. Yeah, so you can see already it's making a nice colour around there. Uh, you may need to cut a piece out if it's got a big stem. So I'm going to cut a bit there. So that fits in there. Uh, there's also another little plant here, but uh, I'm just going to cut it roughly to start with. Find out where this plant is. There. And cut to the middle. So, I'll tuck that round. Once we've got one bit done, the easiest thing is to actually start putting some of these stones on, just to weigh it down. You can get these just about anywhere. Uh, even supermarkets sell them at different times of the year. Uh, that's as fine as we're going to go. Um, I like these because they, they naturally form flat pieces. Um, so it's nice, it, it smooths down nicely. Uh, it's quite good to walk on as well. No, that, that, this corner is quite where I want it. Come on. And that secures that, it's not going to blow away. Blow your stones that got some sentimental value. Uh, a few that we've collected on holiday and that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm just going to trim this. Okay. Uh, once that's trimmed, just put in there. Yeah, try not to bury your leaves. Can't quite thank you for that. Keep on weighing it down as you work. Stuff cut will do. Yeah. So it's important you get plenty of overlap, don't just leave a, a gap because weeds will get through. worried about this overlap not matching, um, you can put a little piece in there, which I think I will do. Um, ideally tuck it underneath if it's a small piece. Straight edges you can also fold this underneath, give yourself a bit of extra protection. As long as you've got a nice neat edge, nothing sticking up. 
Probably now's a good time to think about planting. So I've got a few things here that we've collected along the way. So the smaller things can go near the edges. Put that there. And this cell device. Maybe. Here. So once you've got your, your position, uh, basically case of just clearing away enough stones uh, to reveal our material there. And then all we need to do is to cut uh, a cross shape in this. And that will reveal a planting hole and then we've got enough material to flop back. And again, keep the weeds at bay. So you can try it in the start with you want the soil level to be similar to as it is underneath. Get a bit more out. That's perfect. Yeah. So just make sure you fill in plenty of contact with the roots. Water that in at the end. So then it's just unflapped. Yeah. There's flaps as far as they need to go. Put the gun back, label in, and that's done. We started using these slate labels that we've made. Uh, they're quite nice because they're sort of harmonious uh, and don't stand out. I'd like to know what we've got. So it's exactly the same principle it's on a bigger scale. Again, worth trying. Just carefully remove the pot. So if it's very pot bound, you can just release some of these roots. Helps it to get established. Oh, that's perfect in that. Any spaces around the root ball. Right, well now that's all in. Uh, we come to the fun part. These are slightly larger uh, slate pieces, so they should match in with that. We've also got some slate rocks as well. So the general principle is to start with the larger ones uh, falling down to the smaller. Okay. Yeah, so some of these bigger ones they could pop under the plants. So it's to recreate a, a wild scene in your home. Just to give a bit of perspective. You can have little uh, sort of reels, you can know, plant the plant if you like. Pop in some bigger one. Just to add a bit of drama to it. All. So that's, that's them all in. Uh, put these greeny ones in as well. Uh, I've done it in a bit of a, a swathe to look like it's sort of naturally falling. And a few big rocks that have tumbled here. It can be added to rearrange um, to your heart's intent really. Um, so one last thing to do, let the magic happen. Because this slate is always very dusty. Uh, water supply in as well. There, it reveals the true nature of the stone. 
Sal's Scree Garden. Uh, remember that you can do it too. Uh, please like and subscribe.